Hi there, welcome to the Kelowna Art Gallery. My name is Victoria and I'm the Education Coordinator of Adult Programming here at the Gallery. Thank you for joining us today from the comfort of your homes for a video tour of our current exhibition um, from Geisha to Diva, the kimono of Ishimaru. It is important to mention that all kimonos, prints, and objects we'll be looking at today belong to the collection of the Art Gallery of Greater Victoria. I'm going to begin by defining the term geisha and giving you a little bit of history behind the fascinating life of Ishimaru. Then we will get up close and personal with a few of her prized possessions. The term geisha can be broken down into two characters. Gay means art or accomplished, and sha means person. Therefore, it can be translated as accomplished person or person who lives by the arts. Geisha were high-class, well-educated hostesses who entertained wealthy, sophisticated, and powerful Japanese gentlemen who wished for elegance, culture, and brilliant conversation. They were extensively trained in many of the traditional Japanese arts, and their services were exclusively for the realm of wealthy men. It was because of these glamorous women that much of the richness of traditional art and entertainment came to survive in modern Japan. The geisha became Japan's unparalleled conservators of traditional costume, music, song, and dance. Ichimaru was one of the most famous geishas of 20th century Japan. Through her incredible talent, she successfully left the geisha world and became a major singing talent in Japan. After leaving geishahood, she would continue to perform in full geisha regalia throughout her long and illustrious career, and in true geisha fashion, would continue to purchase beautiful kimonos. This exhibition is a tribute to her geisha style and taste through several decades. As you enter into the exhibition space, we are met with a silk furry sewed featuring peonies, phoenix birds, cherry blossoms, with gold and silk thread embroidery on a damask-like silk satin. The furry sewed with its long sleeves, bold pattern, and bright colors is meant to be worn by a young, unmarried woman. These rules were not followed by Geisha, however, and even after she left the Geisha profession to become a recording artist, Ishimaru followed Geisha style. It was noted that this kimono was to be worn with a red obi, which is the waist sash, worn to hold the kimono closed. That also had a bird design on it. You can tell that only an accessory as bold as that could have held its own with this furry sewed. The decoration on this furry sewed is large in scale, vivid in color, and very dramatic. Notice the partial pink lining. Um, with an overall geometric damask design and squares of gold leaf. The heavy padding on the hem indicates that this kimono was worn trailing behind her. Formal or upscale kimono and obi are often designed with auspicious motifs that represent good things such as longevity, happiness, and fortune for its wearer and the occasion they are worn for. Motifs were also chosen to communicate the wearer's age, status, and wealth, along with their tastes in design. Designs on an obi and a kimono can vary from nature-inspired motifs that would reflect the current season, um, botanical motifs such as bamboo, chrysanthemum, peony, plum, and the matsu pine, animals like cranes and pheasants, and inanimate objects like drums, fans, and makimono books. The design motifs can be depicted realistically or graphically, and there are thousands of commonly recognized graphically designed patterns that signify certain items of nature, objects, and cultural items in kimono and obi designs. As for obi designs, one can also find various geometric patterns like hexagons, arabesque shapes, and even medallions that have several layers of patterns within them. Thank you for joining me in exploring our exhibition from Geisha to Diva, the Kimonos of Ishimaru here at the Kelowna Art Gallery. I'll be back highlighting more from the exhibition in the coming weeks, so stay tuned. Please join us on our social media platforms and our website, kelownaartgallery.com, to learn more about our current exhibitions. Thank you.